Hello, today we are going to make some uh, transparency for a bitmap. And to begin with, we need to go into Paint Shop Pro. And make a new bitmap, 128 by 128. But I think it'll work as long as it's a power of 2, so 2 for... Uh, 8 or 512 by 512 just as long as it's a power of 2 and to show that our bitmap worked we're just gonna draw any random image on it like uh, just like three dots in it doesn't really matter and then grab our magic wand to make our making alphas really easy and then go to the mask, hit OK, and select a R of 0, G of 0, B of 0. And then grab their bucket and fill it in. Selections, and select none. Go to layers, load save mask, and save mask to Avicenna. Everything that's black will be clear, everything that's white will be green. And hit save. And then Go to merge and merge all, and then that's that's it. And save this as a TIF, and let's just name it clear. And I already made a folder in the data data clear bitmaps, and save it. And that's that does it for that. And now let's go into tool or command prompt and type in tool bitmaps locate wherever you put you saved your image. So mine was in the clear folder in bitmaps. And then hit OK. And you should have a warning here since I already made my image before. It didn't give me a warning. It's the warning will tell you that it's compressed with a color key. So then what you need to do is when it tells you that, you need to go into our clear bitmap. And it'll be, it'll be like that and you need to change it to this and then you need to save it. And then you do it again so that you don't get the warning again. And now we need to make a decal, a new decal, right here. Hit OK. And just so it doesn't rotate at all, just hit no random rotate. And then go to the shader section and under map and the three dots. Find our bitmap that we compiled and okay and that's it for our decal this is, this is just the easiest way to show you that I made the bitmap correctly or you did and then save the decal as clear and yes and it's going to sapien to place it and it's under game data, decals, edit types, add, and clear. And then just place. Doesn't matter where it is, just as long as we can find it. And then save our scenario and close it. And then in command prompt tool, we need to type tool, build cache file, build a uh, hyphen cache hyphen file space levels backslash small backslash small or whatever small is my level name so if yours was something else say yours was pencil it would be levels pen backslash pencil backslash pencil and then hit ok and then it will compile and 
I'll show you that it worked in game. When that's loaded, find our map that we put it in. For me, it's small. Hit OK and start. And there it is. And if you want to get rid of the white, you'll have to edit, go into when you're making your bitmap and you use the magic wand, it doesn't that white isn't actually completely white it's just a lighter shade of green so that's why it didn't select it, it the magic wand only selected everything that's completely white and those are off shades of green so you could get rid of them and that about does it I hope this helped you create some transparency a transparency bitmap and thanks for watching.